question number 10.19 how the following conversions can be carried out so in part 4 we are taking 10th 11th and 12th conversions so first of all this 10th one this 10th one is 2 methyl 1 propene to 2 chloro 2 methyl propane so 2 methyl 1 propene it is propene that means three carbon atoms double bond must be here propene en is indicating double bond is here and remaining hydrogen so this should be the structure of 2 methyl 1 propene this is starting compound now it should be converted to 2 chloro 2 methyl propane again propene so it is actually one step reaction just addition of hcl at the double bond and that to according to markovnikov's rule so the compound final is formed that is c ch3 here and ch3 and with this one chlorine so this reaction is taking place in presence of hcl and according to markovnikov's rule negative incoming group will go to that carbon atom where hydrogen is less so chlorine is coming over here and the final product is formed this is 2 chloro 2 methyl methyl propane and starting compound was 2 methyl one propane yen similarly we are starting with the 11th one ethyl chloride ethyl chloride is ch3 ch2 cl is converted to propanoic acid propanoic acid that means first one carbon should be added and the reaction should be kcl reaction and it is in presence of alcohol so by kcl reaction actually in most of the cases we are introducing one more carbon atom in the molecule and that is how cn group is coming over here and after that it is converted to final compound that is ch3 ch2 co o h this is given propanoic acid so now we are writing name of the compound propanoic acid in organic conversion always remember the molecule with its name should be it can be iupac name or common name but name should be written this should be propane nitrate now while naming this remember the carbon which is in the form of functional group cn should be included in the longest chain so it is propane nitrile not ethane nitrile and this should be ethyl chloride so first reaction is nucleophilic substitution reaction 
and the second reaction is acidic hydrolysis. And by that, CN is converted to COH group. Now come to next one, last one, third is 12th one. 12th is but 1 ene but 4 carbon atoms 1 ene that means 1 carbon is having double bond and remaining hydrogen CH2 1 hydrogen needed here CH2 and then CH3 and it should be converted to normal butyl iodide that means CH3, CH2, CH2, one more CH2, and then iodide. Now for the iodide, first reaction should be bromo compound formation. And for bromo compound formation, we should have reagent in which it should be Against Markovnikov's rule, then only we can get the bromo compound. CH3, CH2, 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 Br. Br. That means the negative is going to that carbon atom where hydrogen is more. And this is possible only when HBr is added in presence of peroxide. So it is anti Markovnikov's rule, and by that we are getting this. And after that, substitution or by iodide. So Br is replaced by iodide when the reaction is with NaI in presence of dry ether. First compound is but 1 ene. Second one is 1 bromo butene. And last one is 1 iodo beauty.